Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Entropia Content. Yes, today is the day the next island updates have arrived. And what did we begin? With failed to load some items, error code 1. Now I woke up really early this morning, got the heads up from Bonnie that the next island updates were almost here. So I went onto the Entropia page, tried to load everything, and what happened? It came up with a thing saying that the the servers were down for maintenance. And then I looked it up and it turned out, yes, it said that it took longer than expected for this update. So people are here crafting crazy. I guess I'll start. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. Looks like there's new people with new missions. Here's JJ. How's JJ doing? Man, JJ's fucking hot. <laughs> Alright, I like your pants. Nice and black. <laughs> Who else do we got here? We got some other chick and some other stuff. Let's check what this shit is, yo. A choice between various limited tailoring brew plants with five clicks each will be given when a task is complete. So there's some daily missions, I guess. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, I was thinking of doing some of the crafting first in ancient Greece because of the whole spiel that's been going on. So let's go and pick up all my crafting materials. There's a whole bunch of people here crafting. Fuck, I wish I wouldn't have fell asleep. I probably missed the first to discover while I was sleeping. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, first on my crafting adventure, what should I try to do? The clothing or the fucking shit or the vehicles? Let's let's bring up the update, tell you guys what's happened. Right, here's the version update released today. Hex hello next island, we got a whole bunch of stuff for you. New content. PBV zone in the water. A new PvP zone in the water. I'm wondering if that includes an oil rig. Because oil rigs and PvP go together. Hoping. Oh, that new shark. Something new with him. New texture. The craftable vehicle. Sky Ripper flying vehicle. So that's the one I'm going to be trying to win. A new instance for taming pets. Bl new daily mission with blueprints. We just saw that. A quest to locate a lost sunken ship in Greece. New player area. Oh, that's pretty cool. New quest for the Neo. New daily quest for Neo. A uniquely skinned mankini for the player who suggested this concept. So I'm assuming that Bonnie got it. <laughs> Bonnie, did you get a specially made mankini? <laughs> Alright, new clothing inspired by Stell Faction. New clothing inspired by Ancient Greece. So that's how I think I should craft at Ancient Greece. New full selection of TT reskins. I don't know what that means. Alright, they got a new Next Island Unlimited Armor Plates. So that sounds pretty cool. Holy, Bonnie Knight got her own player estate on Next Island. Jeez, we'll got to see what that looks like. And Buzz Eric Lightyear. I think I ran into him the other day at the shop, didn't I? Or when I was in Ancient Greece. Right, so here's some fixed issues. There's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll probably get onto it later, but dear God, I'm so excited. I want to get in on this crafter. Maybe we'll talk about it more while I do the crafter. Before we begin any further, let's get a quick spin from the Bitcoin Casino. 19,320 Satoshi. Boom! 19,337 Satoshi. Anyone else wants to help out with the show? If they can't do the Patreon, if you can do the Bitcoin lottery spins free every hour for me, that helps the show out a ton. Fucking shitload. <laughs> That's good. 
Uh, let's uh, let's see. Should I try beginning my crafting here? Let's give it a go. All right. It's looking like so far that I got five thousand four hundred and twenty clicks. Four hundred and twenty is one of my favorite numbers. So, anyways, I'm going to be doing a run of Sand Runner fuel cells. If anyone hasn't checked into my secrets yet, probably noticed when I bought all the materials. That's what it was. The big secret was Sand Runner fuel cells. They're vehicle print. So I can use those, throw it in the crafting machine, and I get tons of clicks. Like, I, really, I should be closer to 10,000 clicks with the 100 ped crafting run, but... So I'll show you how much materials I got. And it's just not loading. Let's try again. See, I got 885, so that's roughly 900 and then roughly a hundred ped of veneer. So those are the two ingredients if you want to do this crafting trick. So here we go guys, we're gonna give it a run, see what happens. It'll give me a chance of winning that new vehicle, although I bet you someone already looted that vehicle. Let's not get greedy right away, let's go for the first T and titty. Alright, now but you can see the, the components that I'm crafting here, the sand runner or fuel cells. It happens to be the, the vehicle blueprint you can get from the Arcadia Trade Terminal, which I would have never guessed. If that was a little clue I did in my previous episodes for you guys. I was giving you the clue that the Trade Terminal is actually where it's at, where you can get my trick. So yeah, that happened to me one day. I was swinging by in Arcadia. I'm like, hey, I want to craft some vehicle prints. Start fishing to see if I can get any vehicle prints because my vehicle skill repair is really high. So I was like, fuck, if I'm really high, let's take advantage of this. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I kept looking in the game, trying to find a vehicle print that I liked. And it turned out to be the Sand Renner Fuel Cell one. It turned out to be the one I had the best luck with. So I don't know, this ain't really a great trick if you don't loot any blueprints. Like, blueprints is where it's at. If you do this trick and you don't get any blueprints, you're going to lose pen. So there you go, this ain't like a foolproof trick or anything. Alright, let's try the second T in titty. And then we'll move on to my favorite position. <laughs> Probably should do it right away because I have a feeling there's a good print coming soon. Alright, the second T is providing. So that's why I go with these T's. The T's, the doubles, they provide. <laughs> Now I think I've gave equal attention enough to both the T's so far that we can go between the T's. And I want to make sure I get it exactly. Oh yeah, and then I forgot. There's no point going between the T's if I don't turn the globals on. Now if this doesn't work the greatest for a little while, sometimes I'll try different crafting terminals. I'll try changing up the tool that I'm holding for walleye craft. This is so exciting to be crafting again. I never thought I'd make it to one of these 1,000 ped trade terminal runs again. Now, I won't give away all the tricks for this run yet because some of the best tricks on how to get it to work I should really save for the next episode. But for today, we'll see how it goes just on its own like this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, so let's hope. If I got the new vehicle coming my way, I'll be happy. And then this time, if I get the blueprint, I doubt I'll hold it and wait for it to go up in value. Because as you can see, last time I tried that with the mankini and the, the bikini prints, and they just plummeted in value. So, who knows, maybe the new mankini that Bonnie got, she'll show it off in her stream. Maybe she can get her husband to wear it, and we can all idolize him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we're so lucky to have the Knight family part of the Entropy universe. It seems like they're pretty active, not only helping with the fucking streams and everything, getting new items recommended to Next Island, opening up estates, I think a whole bunch of mothership stuff they do too. It's pretty wild. Wish we had more families like them. Come on guys, let's get it together. <laughs> Ah, oh, wow. This is such a nice thing to... All the accumulation of so many episodes. Trying to get all my ped together. Big shout out to everyone who's helping out with shop sales. If it wasn't for you guys helping me out with the shop sales, this crafting run would not be possible. I would still be too low on ped and I'd be probably on Clipso somewhere trying to sell shit on auction. Today on the vape menu, got a little stale white rhino and a drip of vapor oil. Now to be fair, I never really moved up to playing with the two T's before doing this crafting trick. So I probably won't do it too long. Maybe we'll let a couple of hundred clicks go by before I move to my regular position. Normally I'm too chicken to go for the two T's. I just hang around the U. <laughs> See, it's either U or the two T's. <laughs> Normally I was settling for U. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was watching some YouTube documentaries yesterday and I seen one about the old Pokemon Stadium Center in New York. Holy fuck was that place sick. Giant Pokemon building. You can bring all your Pokemon stuff there, like your Game Boys and stuff. Hook it up to a real life Poke Center, like a training center. And then they had it so you could get new Pokemon on it. And I was like, holy fuck. Only that you could, ones you could only get from the training center. And apparently these training centers were very popular in Japan, so they tried one in New York, but the New York one bombed. Not like with actual bombs, just they made it a policy where you weren't allowed to take photographs, and then that photograph, no policy thing, made it so hardly anyone heard about it. So as I always wondered that when I went to conventions and they do these things where they release it to the audience, but they're like, oh, it's a secret, don't tell anyone, and, and you're not allowed to take pictures. That's what they did with the big Tron movie at the convention the one year too, Disney. If you wanted to see the trailer for Tron, you had to give them your cell phone. I was like, man, that's a fucking rip off. No, they said, no, you can have your cell phone back after. You just can't take a picture of the trailer. We don't trust you. So what happened? People watched the trailer, couldn't take pictures of it, didn't tell anyone, movie fucking bombed. So I was like, man, Disney, you're fucking morons. You should have said, hey, everyone take as many pictures as you can and share it. Goddamn idiots. <laughs> <coughs> now that'd be a lesson to you in Tropia. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, there is a. Holy shit. I just got something. Oh my god. It's making me nervous to even fucking check what it is. Wasn't the first to discover, but I think it's fucking good. <gasps> holy fuck. Let me check. I've never gotten this before, and it's a new vehicle print. What is it? Holy shit, some have already sold. Maybe this is that goddamn boat print. What is the markup value? Over 10,000. <laughs> Holy shit, this is great news, guys. Other than that one person who fucking sold it for 5,000. Goddamn moron! <laughs> Holy shit, how many clicks did I get? Oh god, let's hope it's some. Um, 77, oh. <laughs> right, I don't want to get too excited, but man, this is actually what I was hoping for right off the fucking bat, yo. Okay, relax, breathe, breathe. <laughs> I had a feeling the trick might work. I, I could have sworn I tried this already, and I never looted the cacker or whatever it is. The cracker. <laughs> Remember, say no to cracker. <laughs> All right, let's, okay, let's, let's stop panicking. Times the 7.7. Seven. This probably is only 70 ped. It's not like I got like 10,000 here or something. Come on. Whew. All right, times 10,000%. All right, so it wasn't so bad. 
It's saying here that the print that I just looted, that caca or whatever it is, is worth 77 ped. So you can see how this trick already, it ain't so shabby, right? Like, you start fucking raking in some of these vehicle prints, guys. I don't know, I'm almost tempted not to release this episode, this trick works so good. <laughs> No, who would have guessed? The fucking cack cracker or whatever. Whew. That's sweet. All right, so let's keep this trick going for a bit and see what else I can loot. Maybe it's because I never tried between the T's. The, the between the T's is where it's at. It's like, look at that, man. Got me 77 ped. Whew. Still, what a rush. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure that one print just guaranteed that my crafting run is a profit. Because usually when you do this crafting run of a thousand ped, you fall short by about, let's say, 100 to 200 ped, somewhere around there. So yeah, I still have to loot a couple more prints, but that was still pretty good. I'm well on the way, especially since I have 5,000 clicks left. Oh, I just got another print. Oh, got my hopes up. It was the armament device too. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do, not screw around between the T's too much. Let's get back to playing with you. No offense, you. <laughs> it's like if you had better tees, I'd be playing with you more often. <laughs> okay, whew. Okay, what a rush. I can't believe I looted the vehicle. I'll show everyone what the vehicle looks like in the crafting terminal before the end of this run not the end of this run before the end of this episode you idiot <laughs> so what did everyone think about my crafting trick so far is it pretty good like I don't know I, I was thinking when I first started telling other players about this crafting trick the reaction mainly was that they had tried it already they never looted any good prints and they just lost tons of pet so like this fucking trick sucks balls, not in a good way. So I was like, oh, sorry for your luck. Sorry you lost all that ped. I was like, fuck, the trick works for me. And then I was thinking what it is, is because I spent so much time on the mothership raising my vehicle crafting skills. So when it comes to crafting, I'm the best at vehicle crafting. So I was like right off the bat there, I'm thinking maybe that's why I'm getting better blueprints is because I'm an expert vehicle crafter. Fuck, man, I've been doing repair work on motherships for years. I even raised my level so high that I, I chipped out and then fucking raised it all the way back up again. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I get a little bit better luck with this trick than the average player. And the other, someone was telling me, too, they're like, you idiot. It's like, these sand runners aren't even the cheapest vehicle print. And then they were telling me that there's a, ve a cheaper vehicle print that you can use and still loot the prints. So I'm like, okay, they told me what it was, and then I put it in the machine, and to me, it seemed like it was actually cheaper to still use the sand runner fuel cells, so that's why I kept using it. Maybe they were right, and the one they told me actually was cheaper. It's probably the case. So anyone else who's watching this trick, maybe could you let me know in the chat, is there a vehicle print that you can use that's actually cheaper than this one? And I was thinking maybe the only reason I lucked out then, if this one isn't the cheapest, maybe it's a good balance. Because this one actually loots almost every vehicle print in the game. The only one I've never gotten doing this trick is the quad print. And the other rare ones, like the ultra rare ship ones that you can never loot. So that's what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, look at all these people that came to Next Island for this crafting adventure. Oh, I love Next Island Planet Partners. Now that they're working with Bonnie, once she gets her store open, maybe she'll have some really good stuff for sale and I can do more crafting with materials I can actually buy from shops. No offense to the Next Island auction, but it is a little bit on the lame side. Oh yeah, and I was reading that Next Island page. Here, I'll read it a little bit for you guys while we do this crafting run. So it isn't just me fucking crafting the whole time. So I just had to pause it there for a sec because I was opening Google and I don't want boobs to show up. <laughs> Not that you guys would be against boobs or anything, but I'm pretty sure YouTube would. Hey, if YouTube's good with it, let me know. <laughs> now I'll try to keep it somewhat preteen friendly. The show's definitely not for kids. 
All right, let's see. What was I doing again? Oh yeah. So soon I forget. Yeah, so it's kind of exciting that I lo looted something really good. You know what I should try? Say cowering out right away. Let's try full condition, just a few clicks, just for the hell of it, right? I usually don't try Saint Renner fuel cells with the full click. I did get a global doing it once on Monria. <coughs> but the global was pretty pathetic. I think it was around 80 pet or something. But still, that was huge for this print. As you can see, this print normally clicks out like 10 packs, so 10 ped or, or no, 80 ped, whatever it was. It was good. Alright, so there was a 111. But no prints. There's 99 cent, but no print. There's a buck fourteen, but no print. Okay, I'll come back to the full condition because I'm pretty sure three in a row isn't going to happen again for a little while. So might as well go back up to the U. I keep going back to you. See, whenever I leave, don't worry, I'll come back to you. <laughs> Yeah, alright, so let's get back. I was going to read that next island ship for you. I won't put it on the screen because we still want to see the crafting run as we go. <coughs> Got some viewer comments, but it's from the other game, so I'll skip those for now. Alright, let's. what was I doing? Oh yeah, next island. That's the one thing about when you open shit on Facebook to look up something, it's so easy to get it distracted. If you have bad memory, it's it's not a good thing to get distracted. Unless you're getting distracted from something you don't want to see. Then it's excellent. <laughs> Alright. Word, yo. Let's check this shit. Check, check. Yeah, I can't believe I looted a 77 ped print within the first few clicks. That was pretty sweet. I was lucky it wasn't like two or three clicks. I hate it when that happens. When I finally loot a rare print and when they give it to me, it's like fucking almost no clicks. Anything over 60 clicks, I'm fucking happier than a pig and shit. Alright, so now I'm going to have to start getting excited about what I'm going to do next in Next Island. I'm pretty sure, maybe I'll try it a little bit on this episode, once we reach the halfway point. Don't want to spend all day doing the one print. As you can tell, I'm going to be crafting a while to get through these 10,000 clicks. So it might be a little bit of a few episodes. If anyone else wants to come and join in the fun and they like the crafting trick and it helps them, if you can give me a little bit of ped to help the show keep going, I really appreciate it. <laughs> See, you can see the method to my madness. It's not really that I'm a nice guy and I'm like, oh, I'm helping everyone out with the tricks. Secretly, I want people to help donate to the show. <laughs> so I'm like, if I give away a few good tricks, maybe I can keep things coming my direction. <laughs> now I figure I'm not really the greatest Entropia player, so people must have better crafting tricks than this. So I'm just helping noobs out with one of the crafting tricks I figured out. And no, nobody did teach me about this crafting trick, other than one player, what's his name, uh, my crafting mentor, uh, Mike King Beanut. He was the one that taught me that when you're crafting, if you want to get loot, like actually profit from crafting, you're not going to get globals, you can't count on those. And just crafting normally, you're definitely not going to profit that way. But he's like the only way that you can get profit from crafting, like steadily, is if you fish in a pool that has prints that have good markup. So he's like, his trick he used to be, maybe I shouldn't tell it because he'll get upset. Um, yeah, I'll, let, I'll apologize to Mike later if he gets upset. Really, I don't have that many viewers, so... What his trick was is he would uh, craft, what is it, healing tools? You know those faps, like the, whatever it is, the, the advanced healing tools? So he'd be fucking crafting those like crazy. 
and he would get so many of these healing tools they were limited he wouldn't even bother crafting with a uh, metal residue or the other shit he would just like craft it and how he would profit every time he would hit one of those blueprints while he was crafting those healing tools those blueprints were paying for his fucking runs he said sometimes those blueprints would be so rare he could double or triple his money so I was like, holy shit, that's where it's at. You need to get good prints. Now, I've always dreamed about reaching the levels of Mike King Beanut where I was actually crafting tools, but I haven't found any blueprints for tools that are cheap enough for me to use that much. So that's why I started moving on to other things. I did components for quite a while. I was like, hey, I'll just keep crafting component prints and try to find one that gets me into the loop pool of good prints. <clears throat> that's the... <clears throat> the shitty thing about the the loot pool when it comes to components is there's not a whole lot of component prints that you can get in that pool that are going to pay for your crafting run. Like unless you get a recycle print, like what is it, the explosive projectile recycle? If you get that, yeah, then you can profit from your run. I've done that once, and that was when I was crafting explosive projectile one. I looted the recycle print. I didn't record that episode. I wish I did. It was before I started getting into daily podcasting. So anyways, yeah, that's how I do the, the crafting. Where was I getting at? Now I've been trying to decide here where I should move the bar next. People are probably wondering, like, how does the sand runner fuel cell print work when it's at 100% quality rating? Because that's what I have it at. If you put it at 100% all the way. Let's check how many successes there are. And you can compare it to how many it was with, with just the regular. We'll see if it gives me any blueprints too. See that's the thing why I started moving up the quality rating. Is I noticed the higher quality rating you move it up. The chances increase to getting better prints. Although occasionally something would happen to disprove that where... I'd have it completely full and all of a sudden a good print would come. But I say, geez, it was actually more common if I moved it up higher in quality rating. So maybe that's how I got the ship one as I was playing between the T's. That's a good position. Don't forget. <laughs> Yeah, so what other things was Mike King B Nut teaching me? He was uh he used to take those uh healing tools and he would want to craft so fast, like he was like addicted to crafting, that he would sometimes trade terminal them or let them go and just give them to gifts as other players at trade terminal price. So that's how I met Mike King. I'm like, hey man, I'll buy those off you and I'll buy like two thousand ped worth of them. He's like, all right, and he fucking sold me like 2,000 peds worth of those healing tool limited ones at Trade Terminal. And he's like, promise me you won't flood the auction selling them. So I was like, fuck, man, I want to sell these. So I didn't flood the auction on Cali. I went to other planets and started flooding it. And then he got a little upset because I was lowering the price too much, you can imagine. So that's where I started fucking learning. I'm like, hey, man, I shouldn't flood the market with shit and lower the price. So if anyone's doing these crafting tricks and they happen to have luck and get a lot of fucking vehicle blueprints, then please don't screw with me by fucking raising the price so high. All right, I just got called away. It's like the worst time to get called away, but I'll try to get back as quick as I can. All right, I'm back. Let's get this action going. So you can see what the, the success rate is like when you put it on full. It just gives you lots of near successes. So I was like, shit, I don't want a whole page of near successes. So that's why I, I turn it up a little bit. So you turn it up just to the edge of the, the Q arm. Let's check out the beginning of the Q, see how that works. See, it's still a lot of near successes. 18, it's not bad for the beginning of the Q. 16. Here, what I should do is give everyone a little bit of a closer look at what the sand runner fuel cell blueprint is all about. It's 
two Arcan and one Miluka. So you can see here, what I'm lacking is I don't have enough Miluka to do all the Arcan, but when I craft, I usually get a lot of near successes, and when I do, they give you more Miluka. So that's why I didn't buy a shitload of it yet. I might buy a little bit of extra, especially if I get another vehicle print. And I'll be like, shit, this trick is working with if I get the ship ones. Like, I'll be honest with you guys. I did this trick here, I don't know, a few weeks before I started doing the, the daily streams. And I did the full thousand ped crafting run and I didn't get the ship print once. So I was kind of lucky that right off the bat, within the first few clicks, I managed to get one. So... Yeah, and then this Sandrunner fuel cell. Oh, I got an armament print. Oh, eight ped. Holy shit. Beginning of the queue paid off with a nice eight, nine ped. Holy fuck. Nine ped run. That was pretty sweet. All right, so you can see the beginning of the queue doesn't seem so bad. The only thing I didn't like is it didn't give me a very nice print, but well, let's check it out. We'll, we'll check, 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 check it out. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get a little bit of order to this chaos here. What my plan was to do is to move the blueprints in my inventory down, so I don't have them all at the beginning, and then leave room for everything else that I loot so I can have like a separate thing of just new stuff I'm looting come on what are you high or something <laughs> No, recently I haven't been getting a very good buzz at all because I've been vaporizing too much, as you can probably tell. <clears throat> One of the worst side effects from vaporizing too much is you stop catching a buzz. It kind of depletes the whole purpose of vaporizing. So now you can probably start to get an idea of why I have so many vehicle prints for sale all the time. Because when I do this trick, sometimes I like max out my fucking items list with blueprints. Like I'll have so many that I looted from 5 or 10,000 clicks that I have to start going to other planets to use their storage. So that's quite a few prints that you're pulling out of the loot pool, right? Alright, so now we got some room for the new prints I'm looting. Yeah, I guess I'll... let's check. One thing I should show you guys too. Check out the stats. For 300. Usually for every hundred clicks, I can get one or two prints. Alright, we're back everyone. That was just my roommate. Alright, so I'll do a few more clicks at this, but I think I'm pretty sure I've maxed out this, this trade terminal or crafting terminal for the most I'm going to get from it. So, let's try between... Or no, full condition a little bit more. Just for the hell of it and see what we can get. And then we'll move on to another terminal. I'm just burning the screen clean. Excuse me. Well, this is going to be pretty intense because I don't think I'll want to record or play Entropia at all this week without recording because it's going to be so much action. 
Like everything I'm doing over the next few days could be the make or break. Uh, there's one success, but only one pet. I can't really ride this out for too many successes here. So let's do, let's take my plan and go off to another crafting terminal. But before I do that, let's check, take a quick look and see what fucking vehicle print I looted there. What was it called? The Cracker? Cracker? Something like that? Well, I'm not really familiar with the next island lore, so someone will have to correct me on what it's supposed to be. Ah, here it is. Cracker, that's it. Not Cracker. What was I thinking? <laughs> That's uh, so what do we need here? Vehicle servos, chair frames, concentrated flogstone. Holy fuck, how much is that? That's not bad. Refined Sorensen stone. Okay. And when you craft it, you craft up this. Oh, these things. Remember, I was commenting to, commenting about these vehicles before. I thought it was a ship, but no, it's like a flying ship. Still, not a bad vehicle. How much does the vehicle itself go for? 160%. It's probably better for crafting when these vehicles were going for 2 or 250%. So that's why I really hope that people eventually back Never Die's plan to add teleport tokens. Because you can imagine when people start using these vehicles, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to check, fuck. Now I wanted to check what the, the fuel consumption was on these vehicles. Because then they'll get more people being more economic, trying to figure out how they can get to locations with vehicles. And my idea to never die to get his plan more widely accepted is only make teleport tokens required to go to places that don't have shops so that all the shopkeepers can still get people allowed to teleport to their places and that will give people areas to branch out from so when they need to get to someone they'll like oh I'll have to go to this shop first and then walk from there on foot or something or take a vehicle alright let's check it so the fuel consumption is 0.5 for both active and passive I think that's pretty good because I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it, but I, I think you can get more than one person in this vehicle. Hopefully two at least. Doesn't it look like it's big enough to fit two people? Imagine it could fit more than two? That'd be pretty good. Alright, that's some pretty good action. What do we want next? The things that they... Let's see, new clothing. So let's try the clothing crafting run at the same terminal. I said I was going to go to a different terminal, but let's try it here. Alright, you can see I have two prints that are at 100% quality rating, because as an expert, well not expert, but a pretty good crafter, what I try to do is have some prints that are 100%. I only get 276 clicks with this one, because I'm hurting in sweat. I didn't get enough sweating done. If you can imagine that. <laughs> All right, let's give her a go. See if we can be first to discover between the T's right off the bat. I don't got many clicks here. Remember that. If you don't have much time, go between the T's right away before you run out of time. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't have any weed here. Son of a bitch. All right, one click. I think I need more than one click to have success with this. Let's try more than one. Man, if I was first to discover some clothes, I don't know what would happen. I'd fucking probably freak out. <laughs> Especially if it was a rare one. Oh, that'd be nice. Heck, at this point, I would take any first to discover. That'd be my first Hall of Fame in a while. Alright, 
Hopefully every near success that I hit, they give me some more sweat. <laughs> I was thinking too bad they didn't give me a near success, a whole ton of sweat, like 10k of it. <laughs> You're like, all right, now I got enough to do lot. Now obviously with this lesser Elijah run, I have way less clicks in the loot pool because a thousand ped probably wouldn't get me that many clicks. I doubt 10,000. All right, let's try one full condition or a few full condition, but I can't afford many because this fucking print's expensive. You can see it takes me forever to collect the sweat. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that first click on the full condition. Let's go. Oh, tropical top. I was hoping it was a good one right off the bat. I can't keep it there for long because that was pretty intense, but let's try the first tea and titty. Don't want to get too greedy. Let's check out the market value on that. Yeah, this one's pretty much useless. Shame. For a second there, I was reading bikini. I was like, all oh, right, another bikini print. Cause man, if that was a bikini print, boom, I would have had like 200 ped there, depending how much you can resell that print for. That would have been a pr profitable crafting run right off the bat. Woo. Close. Yeah, I wonder how many other people are here recording for their shows. This is a good place for new content right now. All these new prints. This is like new action. Could end up getting you on a fucking video game show. Like people makes games. I haven't gone to the people makes games video clip in a while to see how many clicks or views it was at. But I'm pretty sure it was a pretty decent amount last time I looked. Over a thousand. And I appreciate all the new viewers who came from watching that video. I think I'm up to, what is it, 700 almost? Or 690 something. Here we got some pure red vapor oil. Hmm. I didn't have any weed nearby, so I'm like, hey, I'll just do a drip on the empty bowl. As you can imagine, like, if you need something to drip oil onto so that it vapors a lot or creates a lot of vapor, nothing works better than a, or a dry bowl. Uh, let's try between the teas. I don't know, it seems like that gives me the best luck. Yeah, so is anyone else on their way to next island to try out these tricks? Or is anyone else just watching to see how it works out for me first? See if it's worth it to come. Now if anyone else is into doing these crafting tricks and they know what the, the cheapest tool to craft in the game is or the cheapest anything from each category maybe you could share it in the chat. I was thinking maybe it's some of those Rocktropia prints. They had a few cheap tools that you could craft. What was it the refiner tool or something? Pretty sure that was a cheap one to make. But the only thing, when they say cheap for tools, it's like usually over a ped per click. I don't want that type of cheap. I'm looking for peck per clip, right? Per click. Like even this fucking lesser Elijah one, it's on the high end for me. 
some people may joke because they craft with like really high end prints, but I don't know. I like to get a lot of clicks and fish for the blueprints. That's where my loot's at. I know the chances of getting globals and Hall of Fames is almost zero, so really what you're going for is prints, or what I am. Alright, well, if I'm saying I'm going for prints, what I should do... Let's try the Q. Remember how it worked well with the other one, right? Yeah, see, it looks like Q is a good spot. 32, 33, that range is pretty good. See, boom. All of a sudden, they gave me the new clothing. Or, let's say, uh... Yeah, I bet you a lot of people are doing the lesser Elijah. I wonder if that's why all those events here were buying up sweat from people and then using it for this when the new clothing came out and they could craft lo shitloads of lesser Elijah. Like I wish I had like 10k sweat and then I could just fucking craft like crazy, buy up a ton of Listerium. I was thinking I gotta remind myself to not cover my image in case I do get a global ever so you can actually see me. It sucks when you get a global and you can't see you. Oh, there we go. Oh, short Mina Valence blueprint. Still a four ped, that's not bad. Let's check out the value on that print. We'll check, check, check it out. Jackie butt and wool. That's not too bad. I could even make this one. So it's a rare enough print that it hasn't really sold much this year. But overall it sells for 2,000%. So at 90 clicks, 2,000%. Let's check what that is. I have a feeling that's no small potatoes. Maybe 45 bed. Or maybe 20, somewhere around there. Alright, what did I say? 90 clicks times 2,000%. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, around 18 ped. 20, 18, wasn't too far off. I was hoping 40, but I was like, wait a minute, that would be for 4,000% markup. So 20 isn't too bad. That can help recover this crafting run. If I sell that print. So you can see crafting is kind of like, you have to be crafty. If you can sell your prints, you're not going to be that bad of a crafter, because you'll be able to break even or maybe even profit. But if you suck at getting prints and you can't really sell them even when you do get them, then you're not going to be having much luck as a crafter. Unless you have a friend who can help you sell it. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I'll give you lowest prices guaranteed. <laughs> now if you gave it to me at trade terminal value, then it would be lowest price guaranteed. I can arrange that. Alright, so I'm pretty happy this episode I managed to get that shit. It's pretty sweet. I think I'm going to have to cut back on the vaporizer. It's reached the point of coughing. Whew. 
All right, let's try one between the T's and then we'll head off to a new terminal. 216 is my lucky number. It's the God number. Oh, God failed me. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't too big of a difference, eh? Full condition, a few more. Yeah, I don't want to get too greedy with those. Let's try the second T. We don't want to make it lonely before we leave. Ooh, 63. Alright, I think that's good for that type of material today too. Alright, the blue point ratio on that terminal was okay. The only thing that really saved me was that fucking vehicle one right off the beginning. The, the rest was pretty shit. And it's going to be hard to keep track of what blueprints I looted because I'm carrying a whole bunch of them on me. So sometimes they might just get stacked in the other ones, but... Oh yeah, that's, this is the real person. I always forget to say hi. Hello. She looks like an app, one of the NPCs. The research area sounds like it might be good to research, but before we head out, let's get a quick message from the sponsor. Today's show, we're crafting adventure, is brought to you by Crack. Crack, it'll fuck you up. All right, welcome back, everyone. Let's try the biological research area. Really should have hit click while we did the message. Idiot. <laughs> hey, no crafting terminal here. But there's a person. I'll say hi. Hello. Fuck, next island's rocking. I really shouldn't have had that nap. Bitch, I could have got first to discover if I wasn't screwing around. I don't even remember the names of any of the crafting terminals I like on this planet. So I'll just go to this one because I know it exists. Or at least I hope it does. Is there no crafting terminals here? Fuck. The hell. It's not paradise. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Try the lookout. See if there's a crafting terminal in here. Looks like not. Maybe those were, but they don't work. Guess we'll just start going in order. No, no crafting area here. I 
That's the one shitty thing about getting a whole bunch of teleporters. Now I'll have to remember the names of all the ones that I like. Doesn't look like any crafting terminals here either. Let's try the Dragon's Breach. That sounds like a good one, right? Well, what I should do is I'll just go here because I know a storage is at this one. Take my items. Put everything I don't want to carry. Alright, so what should I bring? Bring this. Even though I'm going to be slow, I don't have to walk far. It says here on the list that they have some items that were inspired by ancient Greece. So I'm figuring maybe we should go to ancient Greece and try a few clicks. All right, we're back. Let's try doing some more of this crafting run. Can't do too much more of the game today. I'm inside too much lately, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go outside and make sure I get some stuff done outside today. Hope everyone does the same. Basically, summer is over now t since today is September 1st, and we're going into fall soon. I don't know if it is fall officially already, maybe. Yeah, so I hope everyone had a great summer. I know it's probably one of the roughest summers for most people, just given the world situation, but hey, everyone who made it so far through this way, it can't be that bad. At least we're still here. Ah, <laughs> just as I say that, I get severe pains in my leg. <laughs> yeah, it's just cramping up, I think, from sitting too long. 
Alright, so what was I trying here? Sand runners? I didn't think so. I didn't think they'd have any new vehicles on Next Island. Or in Ancient Greece. So let's try the crafting of some clothes here. Alright, back again. Now the roommate was just here and we were de debating whether or not to stock up on more toilet paper. They're saying the, the dreaded second wave might come. So everyone's like, shit, do we want a whole room filled with toilet paper? Maybe that's what we need. <laughs> Never know, toilet paper sales were skyrocketing before. Right? I was thinking I might get some more supplements or something, but I don't know. I kind of need to lose a lot of weight, so if I was just eating supplements for a while, probably be for the best. It's part of the vegan diet, right? Substituting all food with nutrients that you get in supplement form. Like almond milk with crushed worms added for supplement to B12. Yeah, the scientist who figured that out must have been a genius, eh? It's like this whole time they're trying to figure out how they can make vegan supplements for B12. And the catch was, is the B12 usually only comes from the animal kingdom. So it was near impossible to make supplements that were vegan for it. So then they found a catch. They're like, hey, these tiny worms that existed in the soil, I think in Germany or somewhere, so they took these tiny worms, crushed them up, and then they got really good B12 out of it. And then technically the, the vegans were fine with crushing up worms, so they're like, hey, now we got vegan B12. Then that's what they add to all the milk. What is it, the almond milk? So that it has the, the B12 in it. So I was thinking, shit, man, I'd kind of rather just drink cow pus over worm juice, but... It reminds me too of that fucking Futurama episode. Remember when they, they had that pop or whatever and it tasted so good, everyone was drinking it. When they found out what the pop was coming from, it was like crushed up slug juice or something. It's like, oh god. It's like almond milk all over again. <laughs> yeah, let's try this. A little bit more clicks. We're already over the hour mark, so maybe we'll read it, let it run to 50 clicks. The queue is a pretty reasonable area to be clicking at, I think. Dare do a few full clicks, just for the hell of it. Not many, like one or two, or three, <laughs> or four. <laughs> oh God, they're giving me nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought that was it for a second. I was like, we did it. <laughs> was not complete failure. Well, there we go. A near success at a buck fifty. That was pretty good. This makes me think, like, near success at that. Maybe I should hold it out for the full success. Oh, I don't think I can. All these failures, it's killing me. Oh, there it is. Woo! Yeah. Short, oh, I was thinking it was clothing, but it's not. It's a valance. <laughs> oh, well, that was pretty neat. See, they were telling me, it's like, hold out, man, you can do it. Let's go back to Q. While I check out the valance that I just looted. So this is the royal one. That's 52 clicks. That's pretty good, yo.
two, one, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's hear, see the real damage. What's the market value? Clicked it a few times, doesn't want to show me. Is it that bad? Oh, it is. Ain't no 2000 for this one. All right, well, that's kind of unfortunate, but at least it was a blueprint nonetheless. I was kind of trying to test to see if maybe Ancient Greece themed clothing would come from this place because, hey, we're in Ancient Greece and we should try to get some clothing here. No luck so far. But at least we got that ship earlier in today's episode. That was one of my main goals when I was doing the crafting run last time and I almost thought it was impossible. Like shit, I can never get this ship. Did 10,000 clicks and nothing. That's a lot of clicks to fail, right? Yeah, so good luck if everyone else is coming to Next Island to try to get the, the new items. What else is there? The Disciple Armor for Next Island graduates. So apparently if you get your Disciple to graduate on specific planets, you can get different loot. Which I should have realized that. That's one of the main things I do with crafting. Or try to do. But anyways, yeah, it says now if you get someone who is a Disciple from Next Island, you will get Next Island themed rewards. So that's pretty sweet. I think that's a good idea. It keeps people coming back to your planet, right? Alright, we got... Oh yeah! Riono Bikini Bikini <laughs> Yes! That's all I like to see. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to end this episode. Holy shit! I just got the Bikini print. All right, let's let's check it out, yo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I did, that'd be like a miracle. Ah, oh, people keep selling it for cheap. Stop it, please. It's like we can sell this thing for over a hundred ped. <laughs> All right, either way, at least it's still worth fifty ped right now. So for a hundred ped crafting run in in Lesser Elijah, it looks like that fucking print for fifty ped is gonna help. Let's be realistic, I can get a hundred ped for this one. Bitch, if I put it for a hundred ped in my shot. Oh yeah, this is my second copy of it now. So that's neat, only 20 have ever sold and I have two copies. Sweet. All right, if anyone wants a copy of the bikini print, let me know. Uh, if you nego negotiate with me, we'll see what I can sell it for. Fuck, I can't believe someone keeps selling it for cheaper. You sons of... <laughs> All right, so woo, that was a nice way to finish today's episode. All right, so if anyone wants to help out my show, don't forget, I've got the Patreon link. Just hit the more info thing below. And then uh, there's Society6 for finishing quick is my specialty t-shirts. And I'm adding a new t-shirt soon. Schwag bucks, which you can get discount codes not only for buying, not discount codes, actual percentage off. Uh, what is it, 1-3% to 3 off on your purchases at Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, even Walmart. <clears throat> I was pretty surprised at the Walmart one. All right, anyways, Game Kit 2 is a place you can get paid to be a gamer, but I recommend doing it on Tropia Partners instead because they pay you in Project Entropia dollars. <laughs> Hideo TV pays you in Project Entropia dollars to watch videos. Bitcoin, so Bitcoin, yeah. It's that lottery that I did free spins with earlier today. At least I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All right, thanks everyone who's been helping with that. I'm up to almost 25 uh, referrals now, people doing the daily spins. Each spin gets me more lottery tickets, gets you guys lottery tickets, and maybe we can all win together. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're winning the free Satoshi every spin, so technically we are. 
Oh yeah, and for adults only, we got the Virtual Mate. And it's for guys only at this point also, but ladies, if you need a sex machine, you can call me. Or someone else, let's be more realistic. <laughs> okay, take care everyone, and let's see. What items? If you happen to get a little bit of... Yeah, let's check. If you happen to get a little bit of... What's one of the materials for the Riona Makini? Now let's go with Listerium. If you get any Listerium and Vibrant Sweat because you've been crafting Lesser Elijah in your vaporizer and the combination of those does not work as well as it does in the crafting machine and it tastes like shit, then give the video a dislike. But if that doesn't happen, you can help with the like. I really appreciate it. Take care everyone. See you later. And bye for now. Oh yeah, and go Raptors. Raptors today. Holy shit, the game starts soon. I gotta fucking end this quick. <laughs> See everyone. There it is. Good luck on next island. Hope everyone liked my crafting trick. And remember, it's just a, a trick that could backfire and make you lose everything. So only gamble what you can afford to lose. Here's a subscribing to videos. Bye.